In today's video, I'm going to share a squeeze setup inside of raw stores that looks interesting and has a positive back test. It's been a nearly 80% winner over a period of 20 years, and I'll share what those back test metrics look like. We'll use these back test metrics to then create a trade plan for where we'd like to enter in this long side position inside of raw stores. We'll create an automated trading script where Thinkorswim will do the heavy lifting for us and automatically wait and watch for the certain set of conditions to be met before automatically getting us into a long side position. For all Volatility Box members, there's also a part two to this tutorial in which we'll be tying in the squeeze to our automated trading order script, which makes it a little bit more dynamic and a little bit smarter as well. Now let's start first with breaking down what the actual setup is. For all Volatility Box members, you can download the tool that I'm going to be using in today's video on our website for free. It's included with your membership. That's tosindicators.com slash squeeze hyphen course. There, if you scroll down to the back tester section, you'll find the squeeze signals back tester. And this is the back tester that's being used in today's video. Now using the back tester on 20 years worth of data, we can see some metrics around what its performance has been. We can see we've had a total of 26 total trades. Out of those 26, 21 have been winners. That gives us a win rate of nearly 80%. However, the one thing to call out is the most recent trade was back in 2021. So it's been fairly muted for the past couple of years and we're finally seeing our next bull signal with today's candle. Now, another thing to call out is the average win percentage versus the average loss percentage. The average win percentage is nearly 5%, but the average loss is a little bit greater at minus 7.26%. That tells us that if possible, we want to skew this win to loss ratio a little bit more in our favor by waiting for something like a pullback. So naturally, the question is, what are some likely pullback areas that we might use? And that's where the market pulse line seems like an obvious option. The last label that we can see inside of our labels up here is the average trade duration, where we see the average trade duration is right around 12 trading days. That tells us that we have some time before the squeeze actually fires long. So we have the affordability to wait for this pullback and to try and get a slightly better entry. With all of that in mind, the automated trading script that I'm going to create is going to be a long side entry anytime we get a pullback to the market pulse line. The back tester is using today's closing candle, which is 138.88 as the actual entry price. So any entry better than that would help us skew this average win versus loss percentage in our favor. Given that we made a new high in today's candle, entering with today's close seems a little bit more aggressive or risky. Waiting for the pullback to 134.76 seems a little smarter. However, 134.76 is what the market pulse line is today. We'd like to make our order a little more dynamic where it shifts with whatever that line is and the value is for that particular trading day. To do that, I'm going to open up our studies icon and we'll look at the market pulse code to copy and paste all of the code up until our actual variable moving average line. That's this plot VMA variable that you see on our charts. If you don't already have the market pulse, I'll leave a link to download it in the description box below. It's a completely free indicator. Once you have the code copy pasted, right click anywhere on your charts, and then I'm going to select by custom with OCO bracket. That's going to pull up this order panel and inside of this order panel, we're going to adjust our actual order quantity. Now, if this is your first time placing any sort of automated trading scripts, test it out in paper trading first. And if it's your first time in live, you want to start with a smaller quantity, something you're okay with if there are any bugs or glitches, things of that sort. Once you have your quantity set, then click the settings icon to the right of the actual entry order which will pull up our order rules panel. Here we can tie the actual entry to the market pulse line. Underneath conditions, select symbol, which will auto fill to raw stores. Underneath method in the dropdown, I'm going to select study, and then I'll select edit. 
Underneath edit, I'm going to select ThinkScript editor and here I'll paste in our entire market pulse code. Now our plot variable inside of the market pulse indicator was the actual line. In our order condition, our plot is going to be our actual entry condition. So I'm going to change that plot to a def variable and create a new plot variable called signal, which is going to be our actual entry criteria, which is a simple condition of if our closing price is less than the VMA line. And I'll set this equal to less than or equal to the VMA line. So that means if our daily price, whatever it is, the close price, the most recent price, if that's less than or equal to the variable moving average line from that day, then this condition will trigger true. And we'd like to enter if this condition does trigger true. I'll click OK. It's linked to the daily time frame. We'll link our actual limit price to the bid since we're looking to buy. And there we'll click save. Now for our sell orders for the stop and the target, we can link this to the average price and we can adjust this to something like a plus or minus $5 and manually shift that if and when we get filled. Now you may want to add in a cancel condition here as well if you wanted to add some time in which this order automatically cancels. One way you can do that is using this average 12 day duration and saying that, hey, you might want to cancel 12 days from today and manually configuring that as a date right here. For all Volatility Box members, I have a part two to this tutorial, which is linked in the description box below, where we're going to add a dynamic condition here and link that to the actual squeeze. We're going to cancel the order if the squeeze has already fired and the setup is no longer active. That makes this setup much smarter in my opinion, where you really can be a little more hands off with this actual entry order. And I think that's going to be a neat way to add in a cancel condition. Now coming back to our conditions, the last thing we can adjust is the day portion. We can change this from day to good till cancel. And that way we don't need to keep configuring this order every single day. I'll click confirm and send. And now thinkorswim is automatically waiting and watching for price action to pull back to the variable moving average line before getting us into a long side position. For the upside, we have this natural 1272 target at 14262, which has been active for quite some time. And if I zoom out, you can see that that 1272 is formed using that COVID high to low, and that's still been an open target. So for those of you that do take this idea, that might be something you find interesting. Again, for Volatility Box members, be sure to check out part two of this tutorial in which we're taking the same entry condition, but making it a little bit more robust and tying it to the actual squeeze saying, hey, cancel the order if the squeeze has already fired. Otherwise, if it hasn't fired, then continue to remain watching for a pullback to the market pulse line. I hope you found this video useful for a nice handy way to go from finding a squeeze entry to configuring an automated entry to enter at a pullback to the market pulse line. Take care everyone, good luck trading, and I'll see you in our next update.